This tutorial shows you how to use the Canvas Speed Grader to give some great video feedback to your students. So first of all, if you have created some instructions or general feedback in the format of a video that you would like to give to a student, you can now attach video files uh, or pictures to inside of Speed Grader and it will show up on their dashboard for them to play. So that's a really quick and easy way to be able to have some pre-made instructions that you include in SpeedGrader. But you also have the option to record some of your video feedback in the moment. But what is new here is the ability to use the screen capture as well. So screen capture is going to allow you to record both your screen and it's going to keep a little bit, you're going to see yourself down in the corner, but it allows you to be able to record yourself and also then be able to um, show the kid what's happening in a certain place on a certain screen. So I'm going to say that I want to show them something inside of email. I'm going to say share that screen. So it's going to pull it up over there. I can get the image of what it's going to look like. You see, you can see yourself down in the corner. And then I, once everything is set up the way that you want it, and you've got it on the, um, you've got it on the screen that you want it to, you wanted to show the student something, you can then press the start record button. It's going to count you down, and you can begin giving your feedback and you could say make sure to come over to the compose button and open up the compose and then you'll press your stop sharing if you want to stop sharing the screen and then you can also just press finish the recording and so then it will give you the recording I suggest labeling it because these files are then going to be saved inside of your canvas and then you can know whether or not it is something you'd want to save say student feedback something like that and then say save the media and then at that point you'd be able to um, put with that video feedback there. Remember also that if you want to um, submit preloaded videos, you can go to the upload video and it's a video file or an audio file. You can set them right there and they do show up on the student's dashboard. They're able for it just for them to be able to um, look at right there on their dashboard. 